In this video, we'll learn about expressions, equations, formula, identities, terms and factors, and inequalities. So let's start with an expression. What is an expression? I'll give you some examples. 3x plus 4y. 5a plus 4b. 7n plus 2m. Equation 3x plus 4y equals 16. 5a plus 4b equals 10. 7n plus 2m equals 7.5. You can see the difference between the two. So an expression has some terms like this, 3x plus 4y, or 3x plus 4, 3x plus y, 3 plus 4y, x plus 4y. So it's a number or a letter or both of them. And you can see that in here as well. An equation is that expression but he has a value, a total value. So 3x plus 4y equals 16. 5a plus 4b equals 10. Or 3 plus 4y equals 27. That sort of thing. So I'll add that as an example here as well. So x plus 4y equals 11. x plus 3 equals Five. So no equality sign here, but there is one for equation. What about formula? Formula you've probably come across before like the formula for the area of a rectangle, which is length times width, or the formula for the circumference of a circle by lots of the diameter, or formula for converting degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. These are formula that everyone knows about. So you can't invent a formula. They are created and we use them to work out amounts, values, get solutions and so on. What about identity? What is an identity? Identity looks like this. So 3x plus 2x is identical to 5x. 5x is not a value, it just that means exactly the same thing as this. So you're not working out something like you've got in here, you've got the value, the total being 16, whereas here you're not really working out the value of anything, it just means that these are identical. So if you have three apples and then you're given another five apples then you have eight apples so that's an identity so whatever value you put for x or for a it's not going to change what you have on the other side whereas here you could have different values when it comes to an equation you could have different values for the variable the letter in terms of inequalities, we could have x is less than 7, 5y plus 2 is greater than or equal to 10. You get the idea. With the inequality, you have the less than sign or less than and equal to 
greater sign or greater than or equal to. Terms. What are terms? In 4a plus 3b, we have two terms, 4a and 3b. In x plus 2y, we have two terms as well, x and 2y. So we're adding them together. In 5, take away 4y, we've got two terms, 5 and negative 4y. Remember, always the terms attract the sign in front of them. So this is 2y or positive 2y. This is 3b or positive 3b. So negative 4c plus 2x, you have two terms, negative 4c and the positive 2x. But these are what we call terms. And we use them when we add in or subtract in. In terms of factors, we use them when we multiply. So, 3c, we have two factors, 3 and c. We multiply 3 by c. Or we have 4x squared. We've got... 4 and x squared, so two different factors. So it's the numbers or the letters, variables as we call them, which we multiply to get an answer. So in 12x divided by 4y, 4y is the factor because this multiplied by whatever the answer is here would give us 12x. So this here is another factor. It would probably make more sense if I did 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So 3 and 4, they're both factors of 12. 